Good morning, everybody. Got my coffee here. Got the Traxxas Max on the bench. And I'm going to give you the four tips, in my opinion, that I think that make this the ultimate piece. And we're going to get started right now. RC Brucey, I can see here, like I said in the uh, beginning part of the video, there got the Traxxas Max and the four quick tips. In my opinion, I think it make this the ultimate basher. Tip number one: the fan. Right away, if I were you, I'd shim the fan. I have a video on my channel if you want to check it out, and if I can figure out how to get a link down below, I'll put it down there for you guys. But if not, check out the channel. The fans bounce around inside the housing. As you can see on the inside there, I put a little shim on the side between this blue casing and the fan. Keeps it from moving around. Just use a credit card, quick, easy fix. Keeps your ESC from overheating, especially because it keeps the fan blades from snapping off and uh, cools way better when you got your fins on there. That's my tip number one. Tip number two, tires. Get rid of the ones out of the kit. They're just, in my opinion, absolutely horrible. Uh, I know it's a ready to run tire uh, out of the box, mostly the case. But uh, what I did is I threw the set of uh, Revo tires on there from my Revo. I tried it out and then I ended up ordering another set. And what a difference. Even without the wide arms on there, just adding the tires alone totally changes the performance of this piece. And plus, I think it just looks way better in my opinion than just with those smaller stock tires on there tip number three wide arm kit without it or these tires or the wide arm kit or the combination of both this thing if you like sitting there and flipping your truck over all the time using your foot and every time you turn rolling over don't do any of them and that's what you're gonna get add the the wheels and the tires way better like i said you can do either or or run them both either one of these together in or in combination with each other this truck is an entirely new rc way way better and in my opinion like i said it's a must with the wide kit and these tires number four shocks they're horrible they just i don't know what they were doing but uh if you like taking jumps taking two foot jump three foot jump and having chassis slap sounds like uh or even if you take a big one it sounds like your chassis is going to snap in half uh this is a must uh or just keep running it and i'd have to say i ran it for a while before i actually got to the shocks and started changing oil weight and uh it lasted believe it or not i had a few problems here and there it blew the dry shafts out uh and then the uh I had a hub screw come out one time, but it's been in there ever since. I just put it back. I don't know what was going on there, but uh, that's been going for a couple months now, quite a few videos. But anyway, oil weight. I put run 90, 80 in the back. Drastic, huge improvements. Turn the turnbuckles down. Be real careful. You're still going to take big jumps and have that chassis slap. Like many of you commented before, you need some chassis slap. I get it. I still think it's a little bit too much, but I'm leaving it where it's at right now. It's got to be better than the stock that I had on there. And every time I did anything, it was just BAM! But anyway, uh, shock oil, my fourth must. And like I said, all these tips are, in my opinion, what you need to make this the ultimate basher. Uh, so that's a few of my four tips. I hope you enjoy them. I hope they help you out. And thanks for watching RC Brucey. Hit the like button. Please subscribe, guys. Truly and greatly appreciate it. And once again, thanks for watching RC Brucey. I'll see you guys next time.